Hi guys, here's another four of my festive hints and tips as part of my 12 days of tipsmas with Tesco. These are all to help your Christmas be tastier than ever. First up, how to make the perfect parsnips. I want to show you how to make these one of the best vegetables on the table. Let's do this. Do not peel the parsnips. Just give them a little wash, parboil them in salted boiling water for five minutes. Then simply toss them in a little butter or olive oil, salt and pepper, and then put them in the oven for about 45 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. At that point, they will look like this, but the tips don't stop there. What I would take is something flat, a potato masher, and I want you to lightly squash them. What you're gonna do is allow that fluffy inside just to kind of come out. It's gonna give the skin more surface area, so that's more crispy bits. Then we're gonna dress it. So herbs like thyme or bay leaf are particularly good. I'm gonna add a little bit of whole grain mustard. This is really, really nice with the parsnips. I'll give it a little kiss of vinegar, about a tablespoon, and a little drizzle of honey. These will be the most delicious parsnips ever. About 15 minutes at 180, and then have a look at these. Crispy, gorgeous parsnips. And I promise you, you will never regret roasting parsnips like this. Time for a little try. Come on, let's just nick a little bit. They're very, very hot. Oh, the steam. God, they're gorgeous. Oh, my Lord. The flavor is epic. Frozen grapes dipped in melted chocolate is a thing of joy. It's a fantastic little dessert, a little sweet treat. Yes, it's indulgent, but it's brilliant. It's surprising, it's fun. First up, you can choose any grapes that you want. Give them a little wash. Take a little cluster like that, and we'll simply put it in the freezer for two, three hours. So if you look here, these have just come out of the freezer. They look absolutely amazing. And then you've got our melted chocolate. Now this is so simple to do. Get yourself a nice pack of good quality chocolate, about 70% cocoa solids. Give it a smack. Put it in a heat proof bowl over a little pan of simmering water and slowly, slowly it will melt into a lovely sauce like this. And then the rest is easy. Grab yourself a nice frozen grape, dip it in that chocolate sauce, in your mouth. Oh. What's so brilliant about that is the hot and the cold really gets your taste buds going. So good. This next tip, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious Christmas-inspired salad dressing. I use an old jam jar, one tablespoon of red or white wine vinegar, then four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. A little pinch of salt and pepper, but the ultimate Christmassy ingredient, a beautiful clementine. So just the zest of one clementine will make all the difference. Then cut it in half and squeeze the juice in. Add a little honey to give it even more flavor. You could take a little bit of thyme and just pinch it and tear it up. Now, lid on, shake it up, and then you've got the most delicious Christmas dressing. Now you can sit this in your fridge for at least a week. Really convenient, it tastes amazing. But not only is it a dressing, you can use it as a marinade. So for cuts of meat, fish, you can even roast vegetables with that on as well. It's a brilliant all-rounder and you will not regret making it. This one is all about how to look after and get the best out of your fresh herbs. And at Christmas time, herbs bring a whole load of new life to your stuffings, your roast potatoes, your veggies, and so much more. So look, here I've got beautiful sage and thyme. Trim off the dried end, expose the fresh stalk, get yourself a clean cloth, and get it wet with cold water so it's damp. Get your herbs like that and simply wrap it up and that will really look after those. And at Christmas time, I've got several bunches of herbs where I put my milk normally, all sitting there ready to be used. Or the other thing to do is get your bunch of herbs, take the stalk ends off again, and then put these in a cup, jam jar, or little vase, fill it up with an inch of water, and put that either in the fridge or on a windowsill. And my last tip for using herbs at Christmas is because it's cold this time of year, when you want to use your lovely woody herbs, get your tap going on a hot and give it a little wash for about five seconds and that heat will bring all the flavors out and then you can use it in your cooking. So guys, fresh herbs, it's the way forward. It really gives so much to your cooking. So there you go guys, I really hope you found those hints and tips really useful, especially at this time of year. If you want to see more, then simply go to tesco.com forward slash recipes. Merry Christmas.